in New York at the Goalkeepers Conference to learn about how we can save millions of mothers and babies' lives around the world. I have already met some incredible people. I just took a selfie with Bill Gates. And I have learned from amazing people. But now we get to interview Melinda French Gates about what the Gates Foundation is doing to help improve the maternal mortality rate around the world. Let's jump into it. We have Miss Melinda French Gates. How are you? I'm very well. Thanks for having me today. I'm so excited. Thank you for having us here at Goalkeepers. I have a few questions for you today, if that's okay. Of course. So I wanted to ask you, you have recently become a new grandmother. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. I'm sure that is very exciting. Mm. And I would imagine that you hope to give that opportunity to people around the world to live long enough to see their babies become parents if they want to be parents. Definitely. What is the Gates Foundation doing to make sure that yeah. as many people as possible around the world have the opportunity to see their babies grow into parents? Well, there's still, you know, 800 women who die a day in this day and age, 800 who die a day in childbirth. So we are really working to make sure that healthcare systems, even just the small places women go to deliver, that they have the right supplies and tools. We're investing in good research and we're coming up with new innovations that will save moms and babies' lives. In the goalkeeper's report for this year, what do you think is the number one thing to make sure people know about so we can keep making advancements? Well, I think people should know that, you know, 60% of the moms who die in childbirth die from postpartum hemorrhage. And so a lot of those deaths, most of those deaths are in low income settings. And it's because it's hard to see how much blood a mom has lost during while she's hemorrhaging, because we all bleed after, after birth. And so there's a new drape that is inexpensive. It's a surgical drape that already exists, but that is has been created that will actually capture and measure that blood under a woman so that a nurse or a midwife can just visually see how much blood has she lost and know when to intervene. Yeah, and having used those, it's, it's really remarkable how hard it is to tell and how helpful it is to have a visual representation. Mm -hmm. I think Ashu, in the research that she had talked about, said that 50% of the people who died of postpartum hemorrhage, they weren't even diagnosed. Right. That's really incredible to me. Yeah, we just don't see it. And think about it. I mean, you would be an obstetrician. It's a little bit chaotic, right? Right after that baby's born, you're trying to tend to the baby's needs right away. The mom's there. So you might not even, you know, when you turn your back on her, you might even not see how much blood she's lost, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And especially in low-income places mm -hmm. like that where oftentimes the healthcare professionals are doing everything, mm -hmm. I would imagine that it's even, even more difficult. Oh, definitely. So in the report, there are a thousand moms and babies a day that we can save with the low cost implementations that are talked about that are all evidence and, and research based. Do you think that that two million by 2030 goal is achievable? It's absolutely achievable because these are deaths that are preventable and we already have many of the tools. We have new tools coming too, but even something as inexpensive as azithromycin, it's a drug almost all of us have used. It's one point or the other in the United States, it's inexpensive. And so giving that to a mom so that she doesn't get an infection that creates sepsis and then she goes really fast, that is easy to get out into a healthcare system. And it's shelf stable. It doesn't have to be refrigerated, which is so important for anything you want to implement there. Definitely. Well, thank you for all of the work that you're doing. Thanks for I having am me. honored to be a part of Goalkeepers this year, and it's been an absolute joy, so thank you. Is it okay if I ask you a Jeopardy question? Sure. Okay. So we have picked one from the Goalkeepers section of Jeopardy, and it is. This treatment for anemia can be easily implemented and prevent or reduce deaths from postpartum hemorrhage. That's the prompt. Okay. And I'm supposed to ask in the form of a question if it's Jeopardy? Okay. What is IV iron? Very good. <laughs> from your own report. <laughs> Thank you. And, it's not, and I think it's important to say there's a new type of IV iron that's inexpensive that's been tested in Nigeria by a Nigerian obstetrician. Yeah. And so having that 15 minute quick IV really can prevent a lot of anemia for women. Yeah, and we use it a lot. I work in New Zealand at the moment. I'm from mm. uh, 
the US, but I moved there two years ago. We use the Ivy Iron a lot there, mm -hmm. and we didn't as much here in the States. So I think that's something that I've learned and picked up from the midwives there that is, is important. And I was really glad to see it written about uh, in the report for you know developing nations. Well, it's great to see things from other settings coming back to our own country, right? Absolutely. And then being so we implemented. We have a lot of work to do here. We do. We do. <laughs> well, thank you again. Thanks it for having me. It was a pleasure me. to meet yeah. you. Yeah, great.